I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take a seat, because we got to speak. You already know what to do and what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, ricegangclothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. So Tay Rock and Miss Hustle are at war. So this has been going back and forth for about a couple of days now. Uh, Tay Rock and Miss Hustle have been trading jabs online, talking shit to each other. Uh, Miss Hustle was talking about Rock. Rock was talking about Miss Hustle. Rock had an interview saying that he don't like her. Miss Hustle been talking her thing. Rock said for her to get Rum Nitty to help. He said you're gonna get whoever you gonna need that and some more for what you got coming to you. And now it has hit its apex with Tay Rock going live not too long ago. You know that these rumors was out there. Miss Hustle was like involved with the rumors about Tay Rock and this transsexual person saying that they knew Rock and Rock knew that. I need the world to pull up. We have a situation Let's with a giant bum bitch. Let's go live so I can expose some shit. You feel me? Let's go live. I need the world to tune in. I need all media. All media. Angry fan. Piper boy. boy. Hip hop is real. 15 minutes of fame. I need everybody on deck right now at this moment. Hey, Hustle's giving me 24 hours to apologize. Suck my dick. I'm going to tell shit. her this. Fuck your 24 hours. Again. Fuck your 24 hours. Now, now, just to get that out the way. Fuck your 24 hours. Literally. Hey, 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 I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better than fuck your 24 hours. If, if you can pull up. If you can finally, matter of fact, nah, fuck if you can. You got 24 hours to post that fucking voice recording you claim you got. I'm tired of the lies. You got 24 hours to post that voice recording you claim you got. If you can post it in 24 hours, you get your battle with me. If you cannot post that voice recording in 24 hours, that shit is dead. You're lying. I'm tired of you lying on my name. Stop making up shit. I need to hear that voice recording. I need to see some messages. I need to see some proof. I'm tired of people running off with this narrative on my name that you just made up out of the blue. Please, you got 24 hours since that tranny or gay person is your fucking friend. You got 24 hours to post the voice recording and I'll battle you. If you got a voice recording of Tay Rock talking to a tranny, I will battle you. Post it. Post, if you can post that, I will battle you and I'll give you a stack on top of that. I'll give you a stack, $1,000 cash. I will pay you if you can come up with the voice recording of me talking to the tranny. And I'll battle you. Until then, I'm battling officials. Suck my dick. Fuck your 24 hours, you tall, giant, bum, bitch. Straight up. And whatever the case may have been was nasty. It was a crazy rumor and it was, happened to be hovering over Rock for the longest. Now Rock has hit his apex with it saying that he's given her 24 hours to put out some text messages or some video or something that links him to it because he said if she does, he will not only battle her, he'll put a stack on top. Rock, I'm just telling you right now, if you got some shit like, if this is true, my nigga, oh lord. This could get nasty in the field. I'm just letting you know right now. He's saying he's adamantly denying it, but uh, it's getting crazy. Um, Ms. Hustle is clearly one of the top female battle rappers. Tay Rock's one of the top male battle rappers. And these two, they, they, they clash. It's something crazy, like Debo. Debo, you need to capitalize on this right now. Get these niggas' names on contracts ASAP. If you don't do nothing else this year, get that done because that's crazy. That what, bro? What the fuck? They are at war right now. I mean, I I, I haven't seen Tay Rock this adamant since he was beefing with like CC Show 
We got sticks down here. We got sticks down here. I haven't seen him that adamant in a little minute. You know what I'm saying? I, I was in the gym working out, and when I saw this, I was like, shoo, you know, I'm getting it right. We, we, we working. We working here. Um, but, I mean, damn. Where did, there's so many layers that you could break this down with and Rock like wanted this to be out. He's like, yo, share this shit, talk about this everywhere. I need you to talk about it. And um, I literally was just chilling. Messages started coming through. People was like, yo, Rock is wilding on Miss Hustle right now. And Miss Hustle said she gonna go live to talk about Rock. And I mean, golly, I, what is, if they battle, like what is gonna happen if this battle actually gets set up, if she has what she's saying, this could be one of the craziest angles. We just thought we had a crazy angle with the whole rider shit, but yo, we ain't never ever seen no shit like this before. And if she's really like serious about what she's alleging with Rock and this person, bruh, this shit could get sticky. It could get it could get real real crazy. Um. I think both MCs are dope. Both of them are clearly talented. Both of them get busy, but man, man, rock. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hands off with this one. But Hustle's adamant about what she's adamant about. She said in her post, I seen her post on the gram where she said, uh, "Petty Hustle is back." She was saying since, uh, what did she say? I'm, I'm, let me get it. She said, "Sips T, I'm gonna go live at four to address this Tay Rock thing since he hate me." I will show you why Petty Hustle is back. Now, Ms. Hustle said she'll show you why. Why? Why? She said, I mean, and niggas is here for it. Oh, well, we are here for it. And if she comes out with some definitive proof or some realistic shit, this could get kind of crazy. I'm not going to hold you. This could really, really get kind of crazy. So, I mean, you know I say it all the time. You may... Get what you want, but you may not want what you get. I don't know personally what went on or if this rumor or whatever the case may be, but Rock is giving her 24 hours. He's standing on her 24. If you had 24 hours to live, just think, where would you go? What would you do? Who would you screw? Who would you want to notify? Or would your ass deny that your ass about to die? Um, this is getting, this is, this is heating up. This is heating up, my friend. So hustle. The ball's in your court. 24. Are you gonna are you going to pull out the, the whatever evidence you got? Or are you gonna just let this thing continue to be what it is? Uh Rock was adamant about not battling her. If she can't prove whatever she's trying to prove, he's like he's battling official, he's not battling her, and he was hype. I could tell by his voice and by his energy that he was hype. But uh this is dangerous battle. All I'm saying is if this is anywhere near the truth, which I don't know. This could be a very dangerous battle. Uh, he's wilding on her. She been wilding on him. I just want to know what y'all think. Like, what is y'all thoughts about this whole situation? Is it a battle that y'all even want to see? Now nah, they selling the fight. This is this is crazy. So Debo, salute Debo and everything that you do for Queen of the Ring. You know what I'm saying? Female battle rap. You put it on the map. Pioneer for this shit. You got something right now. The, the, you cooking with grease right now. I know you from the Bronx like me. You you are cooking with grease right now. You might, don't fumble this ball. Do not fumble the package. You got this shit right where you need it to be. All you need is an announcement. You get this shit on a card, baby? You gonna bake enough biscuits to cook bread for the whole motherfucking projects, my nigga. You just, Ryder had shit in stitches for the last couple days. He's He's been bubbling. His numbers crazy. His his fucking video yesterday did forty thousand. This nigga never did forty thousand. Not with me. Now you got Rock and Miss Hustle, which could be a story that could kind of surpass that. You know what I'm saying? I'm here for it all. Trust me. Everybody eats. B. You y'all y'all make the stories and we just talk about them. That's the one good thing. Y'all make the news. We just talk about it. Every single platform, no matter who it is, you got so many different platforms where you can watch and get things the way that you want them or from who you want them to be from, which is a dope thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. So, all I'm saying is, Rock, this is, this is a crazy battle for you. If she's got anything close to what she's alleging, you know what I'm saying? This is nasty for you. This is definitely nasty. This is the different type of energy right here. But what I will say, is if she's got it and she puts it out or if she can or if she knows this motherfucker this might be a battle you want to stay away from i'm just saying 
But if you could prove that she's just bullshitting or she's just saying whatever it is, then yeah, it's a battle and all the smoke. But if not, she he already said that he's going to battle against uh, official. Man, this is crazy. And you know what's the good thing about it? The promotion is here. You ain't even got they ain't even got the you ain't got to pay for promotion, Debo. You ain't even got to pay because the fucking battle is gonna promote itself. That's crazy. Out the gate. Woo! Before you stick a fork in me, I need y'all to take this walk with me. You already know what it doing, what it does, so you ain't gotta ask what it was. My man Showtime SP will be in the building tonight. I know, I know I dropped four joints already, but we ain't even get into the shit that we really gonna get into, you know? Let the drum roll. We're going to throw it all in the pot make some gumbo. Go! Go! Everybody, this is your boy Nate Drink from the Nate Drink One Sports Podcast channel. And I wanted to stop by and ask you for your support and your help on my channel and also on my show channel at A Drink of Wisdom. I drop new episodes every Saturday and you can catch me on all the social media platforms under Nate Drink One. And with that said, here go a quick snippet of one of my most recent shows. Thanks for your support, and remember, let's talk some sports, baby! And, and I'm out. The NFL has banned jersey exchanges between players for the 2020 season. What do you think of that policy, Drink? So, let me get this right. So these players could spend two to three hours trading blood, saliva, sweat, but the straw that breaks the camel back is if they swap jerseys at the end of the game. Give me a break. This is stupid. Just stupid. What are we talking about here? Hey, come on. Cut me. Get the, get the hell out of here.